welcome back to another KK Quick episode. As you know, my name is Matt with Hobby King. Last time I spoke to you guys, I was talking about the HK830 Octocopter. That thing is still going to get updated with HK Pilot Mega, GPS, and a bunch of other cool stuff to become our camera ship. It's still in California, and I'm in New York, so I can't quite do that yet. So, first of all, I wanted to show you guys a user, Bernard Ha, on that episode had asked me if I could build one of the coaxial type copters, an X6, an X8, one of those kind of things. Don't have enough parts kicking around to do that, but I did throw this guy together. This is a Y4 copter, which is basically a quad, but with the back two motors stacked on top of each other like this. Now, as far as reasons why you would do this, the basic answer is because you can. Uh, in the case of a Y8, Y6, Y12, and those kinds of things, you're basically doubling up those motors so you've got some redundancy in each corner. If a motor fails, a copter doesn't just fall out of the sky. In the case of this thing, pretty much just to see how it would fly and what would happen. Now, in any case, when you put a motor on the bottom here, this motor is less efficient. It's spinning around in ugly air created by this prop. And so you can see, you know, this, this motor gets a bit warmer, the SC's working a bit harder, etc. But what I didn't expect is how amazing that makes the flip and roll rate on this copter. Let me go fly it and check it out. Here we are at a little park near the office and uh, we're gonna fly this thing and show you what it's all about. Uh, the big difference between taking one of the very stable copters like I've shown you in the past and turning it into an acrobatic copter like we're about to do is a function called stick scaling. If you load up your little uh, K2 menu here, KK2 menu here, you'll find it's the fourth option down is stick scaling. You wanna go in there and crank those up pretty high. Default for a Y4 was like 50. We've gone ahead and set them all the way up to 100. That makes this thing a lot faster and a lot more reactive, which I'm gonna show you. As you can see, with self-level on, a lot of wind right now, but anyway, with self-level on, it still flies pretty normally. And then you can flip it. Now watch this sucker go. Whoa. Flips really well. We're gonna go sideways this time. You can see it's slower that way, and that's because of that coaxial motor in the rear. So it really gives it a tendency to flip well in one direction. Nice. So as you can see, turn that stick scaling way up and basically just bang the stick. The thing will flip. You can use the throttle to modulate whether it stays in position or makes big loops and things like that. Practice it, it's really pretty easy. Flipping quads is not hard, it's a lot of fun. Stick scaling is your friend, and as you can see, making a coaxial copter like this makes them flip like gangbusters. So I highly recommend it. Give it a try. Yeah. 